Hello again, this is BGFH, back for another assistive technology video. And this time we're going to start looking at some of the more unique uh, programs uh, from Ceratech. And this time we're going to look at a program called System Access to Go, or SA2Go for short. Uh, in the last video I showed you the full system access screen reader piece of software. And today I'm going to show you a little bit of how to get System Access to Go up and running. Um, what is System Access to Go? Uh, it's basically what they did is Saratech, and I think it was early 2008, they released a free web-based version of their screen reader. Uh, it's not meant to be a replacement for the full version of System Access or any other screen reader for that matter. Um, but what it is meant for is for you to use it in places where you may not otherwise be able to use your primary screen reader. So if you go to a friend or family's place and you need to use their computer or you want to help them fix one of their computer problems, um, you could use it there. Uh, it's also great for public places like libraries, computer labs, classrooms, um, things like that. Places where, you know, hotels, places like that where typically they'll have computers locked down. You know, you can't install anything to them for, you know, security reasons and things like that, understandably. So, um, what you're actually, when you're running SA to go, you're not installing it to the computer. So you're not, there's nothing to install, there's nothing to uninstall. Instead, <clears throat> what you're doing is running it directly from the internet. You launch it and then it uh, will start up and then when you, when you shut it down with your modifier F4 command, it's like it was never there. Uh, no one has to worry anything about it. So um, before I show you a little bit how to get started with it, um, I will mention that if you want the startup process to be accessible, you will need to have Internet Explorer set as your default web browser. So if you have Firefox or Chrome or another browser set as the default, uh, I'd recommend to switch that to Internet Explorer. Um, once you do have SA to go running, you can actually use either one of those browsers um, if you wish. Um, but for the startup process, you do need Internet Explorer. So, and one more little tidbit, I promise, before we get going, is I've actually tried making this video several times, I'd say three, four times already, and for whatever reason, my video recording software seems to hate the SA2Go startup process, so I'm probably not going to be able to show you the full, like, actual logging on because it kind of tends to crash either the recording software or SA to go. But I will try to get as much of it recorded as possible just so you can kind of see and understand the process. So I swear that it works. Uh, when I'm not running this video software, it runs beautifully. So with that out of the way, um, we will run it, and to do that, like I said, you can do this on any Windows machine, XP or later, XP, Vista, Windows 7, 32, 64-bit, doesn't matter. What we're going to do is hit the Windows key and R, Windows R, brings up the Windows Run dialog box, and you can do this without, if you know where those keys are, you don't need speech. You can just hit that combination, and then we're going to type in www.satogo.com and press enter and we'll wait a second or two and it should come up with a little prompt here Welcome to System Access to Go, a product of Ceratech Corporation, www.serotek.com. Please press enter to begin or press F8 to hear a quick tutorial. All right, um, so I can either hit F8 to hear a quick tutorial or I can just hit enter, which I'm going to do. 
And normally it doesn't quite take that long for that first message to come up, but um, <laughs> in addition to video problems, I've actually been having internet issues off and on for this afternoon, so we'll hit enter though anyway to proceed. Please press Alt plus R to continue. And we'll hit Alt R to continue as it says. And we'll give it a minute here. What it's actually going to do is come up with a login screen, and it'll explain that once the speech comes up here. System access to go login. If you have a free SA to go account, a system access license, a SAMPET subscription, or a seven day trial, please enter your account number and PIN to login. If you haven't used SA to go system access or SAMNet before, we strongly recommend that you create an account. Creating an account is completely free of charge and will let you save your settings from one SA to go session to the next. If you like, you'll also be able to buy extra speech synthesizers for SA to go or start a seven day trial of a system access and SAMNet. To create an account, press tab until you get to the create a free account button, then press space bar and we'll guide you through the registration process. Account number. Editable text. All right, so basically we got a notification here if you were new to the product. Um, you don't have to wait and listen to all that garbage if you don't want to, if you've heard it before. But um, basically what it's saying is that you can create, even if you don't own any of the full products or anything, you can create a free account and what that will allow you to do is, let's say that I create an account here and then I change some settings under preferences. You know, you go under the modifier F menu and go to preferences and I change anything then when I go use it tomorrow or next week or if I go use it at work or anywhere else uh, and I log in with that account using SA to go all of my settings will be uh, saved in the cloud and it'll be recovered whenever I choose to log in again so very handy um, <clears throat> what I am in right now is the account number I do have a full account but I am going to tab I'm just gonna pretend like I don't have an account Good. Password field. Pa uh, pin, which they'll generate for you. It's a password field. Forgot your login information. Then you Link. can recover that if you forget. Login button. Login button, and it says keep pressing tab, which I will. Again. Create a free account. Create button. a free account, and this is where it'll just walk you through, like, and you enter your first name, last name, address, phone number, uh, and then you also give it give them an alternate email address so that they can send you your login information uh... it'll like i said they'll generate a pin for you um, and then you can use that and uh... to log in with your free account and once you've also signed up for an account if you choose to do a trial of um, the system access mobile network or docuscan or some of the other speech synthesizers which I will, um, you know, I've showed you one of the speech synthesizers in the last video, um, and I will show the SAMnet and uh, DocuScan in future videos, but it'll also let you do trials and purchase those and associate them with your account. I am going to just close this window just so you can hear, because I don't want to create another free account for myself because I really don't need to. Um, so I'm going to close this window just so you can kind of hear their little disclaimer and so you can also hear the eSpeak voice that I had also mentioned in the previous video. It's uh, pretty robotic, um, but this is what comes with sa to go if you do not have a paid account. So here we go. Important. Please read. sa to go usage policy. Come on. Set to go is a free web resident tool for temporary use by any blind or visually impaired individual using a computer where no screen reader is available. It is appropriate for use in a library, internet, a fated the copyright, hotel business center, friend of your own trademark computer, or any other computer where assistive technology should not be installed. Set to go is not meant as a replacement for a primary screen reader, whether for home use or use in the job. Using the free web resident version of SA to go as a primary screen reader is in direct violation of SOTCA your trademark S licensing policy. If an individual needs to use this to access on more than a temporary basis, the ROTCA's sample system access package is available for purchase. Please visit http sorotuk.com software solutions or call 866-202-0520 to learn more. So basically that is their little disclaimer. Um, like I said earlier, it's not meant to replace a primary screen reader. Uh, and it's meant for places like hotels, public libraries, um, 
you know, th pl things like that where you're not, you don't have access to your primary screen reader and if you don't have your USB thumb drive license with you. So, I'm going to just tab to the agree button and see if link. if I can get SA to go to run or if, like I said, it's arguing with my recording program and it seems to have crashed. So, I'll give it a minute here to see if it actually does respond. Yeah, it crashed. So, um, like I said, I do promise that, like I said, when I'm not running this video recording software, that it does work. It does work beautifully, I might add. And um, once you have Essay to go up and running, everything that I showed you in the last video, so Microsoft Word or Notepad or you know anything that you would do, Internet Explorer, Firefox, um, anything that you would do with your full system access screen reader, you can do with Essay to go. And to wrap things up, I will also mention that if you do have access, like if I did sign in with my account number and PIN, because I own the subscription to the System Access Mobile Network, or SAMnet, and because I own DocuScan Plus, I actually do have access while running SA to go when I do the modifier F command I will have those options available to me um, so not only do I have a portable screen reader but let's say that I roll up to a computer and I have a uh, the computer has access to a flatbed scanner um, I can just access my DocuScan Plus and I can read a, you know, I can uh, scan and read a book or a flyer or a, any kind of print material, or I can access my SAMnet um, resources, which I will like again cover in the next video here. But um, so a lot of what Serotech does is actually cloud-based, which means that it will kind of follow you wherever you go. So, like I said, you know, you have your bookmarks that'll follow you, your settings for SA to go, or your full system access program will follow you. All that stuff is uh, in the cloud. Um, same thing with your DocuScan Plus. You can actually scan, let's say I go to a library that has a scanner and I do scan a book or I scan a p few pieces of paper. I can save that to the cloud, log in at home, and I will still have access to those things. So um, I will kind of demonstrate some of that to you, like I said, in future videos. But uh, unfortunately, because uh, SA to go and the video program I'm using don't quite get along, I will wrap up the SA to go video here and I will continue next time with a look at the system access mobile network. So until then I will talk to you guys later.